Alright everybody, it's been too long, but I'm finally back doing TV show reviews again. And we're going to kick it off with Michael J. Fox. This is episodes 11 through 15, and we're going to start with episode 11, entitled Christmas. This episode was awesome, okay? Basically, Michael and um, his wife, Annie, um, do gift exchanges every year. But the situation becomes a little bit more complicated than that. Meanwhile, Michael's sister um, learns about a surprise that is going to happen for Michael's gift. And she has to bribe his son, of all people, his young son, um, to figure out what that is. At the same time for that, you have Michael's other son, Otis' son, trying to find a gift for his younger brother. And, of course, that leads him to a diner where he meets a jolly good fellow. <laughs> and, uh, yes, this, I like this episode. It was nice. It, this episode highlighted two things. It highlighted the very one thing I hate about Christmas, which is all about expensive gifts and stuff like that. But at the same time, it also highlighted my second best thing I love about Christmas that I used to love when I was a kid. It doesn't matter what you have as long as you have it with the special person you love and stuff like that. I love that meaning. Okay? That's what Christ Christmas used to be. You know? And I miss those type of Christmases. And this episode is not very funny, but um, when it's funny, it works. And it's mainly going for the heart. Coming from the heart, if you will. So you weren't, I wasn't really expecting a lot of laughs from an episode titled Christmas, but yeah, it was funny and it was good. And I like what the, the daughter's role too, because she, everybody's get, you know, everybody get used in these episodes within half an hour of each episode, everybody has something they got to do and it all comes together at the end of the show, which is the reason why I love how this show works. You know what I mean? So for that reason and that reason alone, I'm going to give Christmas, I'm going to give it an A. I really enjoyed the Christmas episode, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Moving on to episode 12, Party, Michael has to throw a party for Harris, you know, just to cheer him up. And when he calls his friends and none of them wants to come, he makes up a little white lie to get them to come. And when they get there, they dog him real badly about his single life. I think you know where I'm going with that when I say single life. But they dog him real badly about it. <laughs> At the same time, um, Mike's older son and his youngest son have a slumber party. Okay? And his daughter <laughs> distracts the mom while the kids have an awesome time in the living room by using baseball bats. <laughs> <laughs> and you get two awesome guest stars in this show and it's pretty damn awesome and it all leads up towards the end of the show where I knew something was going to happen but I didn't think it was going to happen on that scale but it's kind of awesome this one this one's a funny show I mean I like this one too and I like all the little white lies the daughter also made to her mother, even one about having sex, but that one was kind of true. But then her mom has a little bit of a talk with her, and yada yada yada, you know what that's, that's gonna do. <laughs> a lot of good times in this one little episode here. It's fun. I mean, yeah, Mike's sister's fucking hot. I would bone her like, oh, not as hard as I would Scarlett Johansson. She's still my number one boning fatigue, but. Yeah, his sister is a close second. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. And his wife, too. The chick from uh, Breaking Bad. Yes, yes, yes. I, I would do her, too. She's awesome. And the daughter, because all the fucking women are hot on this, uh, on this show. <laughs> I'd do the daughter, too. Why not? Oh, man. But this was a fun episode. Great to look at. Will I watch it again? Yes, I will watch it again. Um, 
My rewatchability on this episode is probably like another five, ten times. I could probably watch this one easily a little bit more because it is about it's your single life and your personal life and who you are that defines you and how you'll find somebody else to spend it with. Almost like me. So I can relate to that just some ways. But uh, yeah, I'm giving this episode a B+. Plus. Another great episode for this series. And uh, yeah. Now even though I am scoring all these episodes separately, I will have an overall score when I reach the final episode of the series, of the, sh the first season. So yeah. I'll be back. And that secret is a mobster has been living in their apartment for like the past 10 years. And it's been a person Michael has been, a neighbor Michael has known for those 10 years and has been frequently over his house. And once the police come and take him into jail, because he's that mobster and he's done some wrong, he goes to interview him for his job. At the same time, the mobster has left a owl statue with his younger son and he uses that as an excuse to use to take his older brother and his sister on a wild goose chase to look for the aisle while he kind of has it in hiding which is funny <laughs> at the same time Harris and Lee who was the two people who got together at the very last end of the episode their relationship grows a little bit more and they try and keep it a secret from Michael and his wife but, uh, yeah. And I like how they sneak around and stuff like that. <laughs> and how they have to go, like, put wigs and stuff on. She puts, like, several wigs on, which is kind of funny to see her in wigs. That last one fed her real good, though. I did like that last wig. I didn't like that little short one because she kind of looks like Marcy from Married with Children. <laughs> Not a person I want to look like in an episode of a show right now. <laughs> but, uh... This episode was hilarious. I liked it. It was fun. It's fun to role play. You know what I mean? I haven't... I don't think I ever role played in, before. I wonder if she will ever do it. That'd be interesting. I may have to ask her. Like, would you be interested in role playing with me? <laughs> no reason to do it. Just for fun. But, uh... Yeah. And, of course, the mobster... Well, this episode reunites... Mal Jacob... Michael J. Fox with his one of his Spin City co-stars who I knew it was him for the moment he came on screen. I'm like, oh crap, that's you. He's just he's just older and he lost a lot of weight because back in that show he was kind of heavy heavy in the face and body and he lost a lot of weight. So I didn't I knew it was him. I was like, damn, he lost weight. <laughs> and he got old. -der. I mean, Michael still looks the same. He just got like little older looking face but this dude like he got older so I was like damn time hasn't been good I mean you look alright but I mean time hasn't just been good to your to your looks it makes him look like not ugly it's just he's just older that you have to see it to know what the fuck I'm talking about and you have to watch Spin City to know who I'm talking about so yeah if you watch that show and then you probably know who's and you watch this show you know who it is already so but yes, it's another another great episode in this show. And my mistake, as I was going to review the first 15 episodes, it's actually going to be the first 16. Episode 16 is on here early, before the show before it actually airs. So yeah, that's pretty good for me. <laughs> so yes, I'm giving this episode a B plus. Another great entry. So far, I don't think I ever, I don't think I ever have gave a, this ep an episode a C yet, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so yeah. I'll be right back. So, couples. Mike and Annie find a new couple in the, the apartment, and they befriend them very quickly. They become their new best friends forever, so to speak. <laughs> but, of course, when their relationship gets a little rocky because they see how perfect Anne and Mike is, Mike and Anne have to play parent trap on them. At the same time, Eve tries to reinvent herself, trying to become a bad girl, and to impress a dude, of course. And I don't know what it is, but once she put that purple streak in her hair, 
I wanted to fuck her like until next week, man. I, it made her look almost hotter. It, it, it made it made no sense how awesome that was. I, I, and it was just a piece in her fucking head. And it, just like when my girl put earrings on, it makes her look more. Mm, I don't know what it, it turns. The littlest things turn me on the most. It's awesome. Okay. <laughs> yeah. This episode was fun. It was funny to see all that stuff go about. And of course, uh, uh, I forgot what happened with Mike's sister, but it's not the point. The point is, those two things were awesome, and they were kind of the highlight of the show. Also, <laughs> Mike's friend, friend and boss, Henry, um, gets a little bit jealous because he spends so much time with the other dude, okay? And basically comes up with a best friend of his own, which is also another co-worker in the building. <laughs> that was kind of funny. And, yeah. This was a good episode. A nice little fun little episode. Not really taking itself too seriously, but it was, it was another fun time. You know what I mean? These, this show is nothing but fun times. Okay? It doesn't take itself too seriously as a comedy. For a show that literally has no audience in it, I laugh the most. I think when comedies have the auto, those auto-tune uh, crowd in there, I think it kind of kills it. When it's done like this, it's fine. It's like watching an episode of Weeds on Showtime. There's no audience laughing. It's just a pure 30-minute comedy. That's what this is, just without all the edgy language, which is not really needed, but still. <laughs> oh, and I love the part <laughs> where Graham sees his older brother kind of jerking the chain a little bit watching some porn <laughs> you have no idea how badly I was dying watching that part when that part <laughs> that was funny but according to Graham he thinks he's a spy you know but he doesn't think that so <laughs> he thinks he actually saw him jerk it but yeah <laughs> oh, great stuff man great stuff because I laughed so hard at this episode, I'm going to give Couples an A. Another great episode so far. This show has been impressing me since the start, and I love it, man. So, we have one more episode to go. That is, and that is a big surprise. So, yeah. So, so episode 15, Soshi, is about Mike and Susan, you know, his rival. They get to go to Soshi to cover the Olympic Games there, which is awesome. Okay, I want to go to Sochi, Russia. Anyway, <laughs> but they find out when they get there that their press badges don't really get them anywhere. And they need a go badge if they want to get to the higher ups, if you will. At the same time, his daughter and wife um, are talking and his, his daughter and them like, Hey, I want to be in the beauty pageant, which Mike's laugh at. But it turns out she's serious and wants to do it. So when she gets there, she gets laughed at by the girls there. And her mom, her and her mom also team up to get back at the girls and also make her a better beauty pageant dancer. <laughs> On top of that, Lei thinks her house is haunted by a, by a ghost because she finds out somebody was murdered in her apartment. <laughs> yeah, and instead of thinking that's a scary situation... She falls in love with it. Like, what? No. Okay, okay, an OS system? Yes. A ghost? Hell no. <laughs> no, no, no. This episode wasn't as funny, but it wasn't the point. Uh, when the point is revealed, it is a very damn good point. And it... It's true. <laughs> Hell yeah, you can go to Russia all you want. But what really matters to you most? Y'all know the words. Say it. Yes, that's right. So, <laughs> when it's all said and done, you can't miss all the good things in your life. Especially when you have a disease that kind of fucks all that up. And you miss most of it anyway because of said disease like he did. So sometimes you have to sacrifice the 
great things in order to get to the to look at and see the awesome things in front of you and I love that about this episode and I hold that dear with to my heart because it's true and for that reason that whole big reason alone that sold this episode to me very good I'm giving this episode a plus very good very fucking good though so yes we have one more this time I miscalculated because I the one episode wasn't listed but I found it so Yes, be back because it's going to be a